Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. Today is a new day. The sun is maybe going to come out. It's been rainy the last few days. Um, we've got a pedal here we're going to show you um, that will run through the telly and the amp here real quick. Um, but uh, basically what I wanted to tell you um, is new stuff. What's new? We'll start with what's new. Um, not a whole lot is new. We've been doing some sessions. Actually got a song i got to finish mix mixing today. Um, and... Uh, we sold our Riviera, uh, in case you're wondering, if you haven't seen it in any of your videos lately, we did sell it. Uh, loved the guitar, loved what it did, just um, wasn't the right guitar for myself or for what we do here. Um, didn't get a lot of play. I played the Tele more because the Tele is just a little easier to play, a little more fun to play. Um, I do love my Tele. It's sitting here off the side. I considered maybe trading it in, but don't know what that's going to be like. Um, have gotten a lot of comments from you guys about my beard, um, which I think is hysterical. Um, I got one guy who's like, hey, your beard's not doing what you think it's doing, which I don't know what it's doing. I can't see it. It's on my face. It could be moving in the wind for all I know. Um, it could just be they don't like my beard. Don't care. Hair's got long. Beard's got long. Don't care. Um, so for those who have made comments, that's what that is. Okay, now we're going to get to what we actually came to talk about today, and that's this guy. This is the F Warm Audio Foxy Tone Box, and um, it is, it's a fuzz, actually. I think it's, uh, we'll read the thing here. It's Warm Audio's Foxy Tone Box, Volume, Sustain, Octave Sustain, Mellow, Fuzz, Bright, Slash Bright, Dash Bright? Fuzz, mellow, dash, bright. Anyways, um, I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I guess there was a pedal in the 70s that this is based off of, and I honestly don't know what that pedal is. I know there's been some people that use it or have used it. I think Billy Gibbons used something like this at one point. I don't know. But um, I've used it straight just with the amp, which is what we're going to do today. Um, my nose keeps itching. I don't know if it's my mustache or what, but it keeps itching. Um, but we'll go over the controls here a little bit, which don't tell you anything. When you look at these controls, they don't tell you much. Um, so this is going to be more of a real world like review, not like, hey, this is what this button does. This one, this one, this one, this one. I know this one does turn the octave on and off. That's what I do know. On top, it's got a, a button switch. And then the back is got your power, your power LED, and then your, your instrument in and your amp out. That's it. That's essentially this box in a nutshell. So we'll go through it here. I'll hook it into the amp and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Uh, so um, that's kind of the controls. I have some Velcro on the bottom here. Um, I'm going to tell you one thing. The Velcro does not stick to this very well. I actually had to physically glue this on with Gorilla Glue. So this is all Gorilla Glued on so it won't come off when you pull it off your pedal board. Because the whole thing is wrapped in felt. It's wrapped in this orangish kind of 70s felt. Um, it can be powered like through a 9-volt power supply, like your one spot. Or you can power it via... Uh, a 9 volt battery you put 9 volt actually it has a 9 volt battery in it right now I don't know if the 9 volt battery is gonna work because it's been plugged in for a while Into the pedal board. I just recently took it off my pedal board because I think I'm gonna actually use this um, as a drum bus overdrive type thing um, When we're recording drums like hey, I want to just squash and overdrive our room mic throw it through this guy on we go so we'll see. We'll see if that works. I might do a video on how to do that and how I've done it. i got to try it first before I can do a video on it. So hopefully it works. We'll see. So let's, uh, let's get this guy plugged in here. All right, so we're back here. Uh, we got our trusty Fender Tele here into our trusty Fender Twin. And with that, we have our Foxy Tone Box plugged in here. Um, it's a great little, little thing. So we'll... Uh, We'll kind of go back and forth here between how it sounds. So right now we're just clean straight into the amp. This is how the amp sounds. So that's how it sounds um, with just this going straight into the amp. No, nothing on. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn it on. And this is the settings we currently have with it. We'll see how it sounds.
So that's with the Foxy Tone Box on, and it's, it is a fuzz. I do like it on its own. On its own, it's a great pedal. I had it in chain with my pedal board, and I might put it back in chain with my pedal board. I haven't decided yet. Um, I might also just put it on the desk as, here, here's what we're going to use for overdrive for our drum bus. I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to tweak some of the knobs here. Here we get. get you can get real chuggy with it if you want. I'm going to pick here. See how it sounds with the pick? That's with my fingernail. So yeah, you can get kind of real, real chuggy. We'll turn the, the the octave on. Gets kind of the same chugginess, but just a little brighter. Um, I do know this guy. This guy at the end, kind of the one at the very end there, kind of adjusts kind of your. It's almost like a bright tone knob. It's like, if I go like that, gets really, like, it kind of gets dark and then it gets also bright. Anyways, that's kind of what that does. I like it about, I like it about halfway. Works great for power chords. I do love this for power chords. I'll kind of adjust this guy here. I'll play with some of the knobs. Play with the knobs here and kind of get the sound. Gets really kind of bright. So here's what it's going to be with our... Uh, Basically, we're going to use, go through tones here. So this is with the humbucker. Now with the humbucker and the single coil. So this is usually where I leave my guitar most of the time, unless I want to, you know, I need to chug or something. I need, I need to do the palm muting and want something a little thicker. Um, this, con con the conglomeration of having this pickup and this pickup on, you know, the humbucker and the single coil on at the same time is kind of, that's, uh, that's usually where I leave this guitar most days. And now here's it in just the single coil. So that would be more your lead sound with the Foxy Tone Box. I absolutely do love the way this thing sounds. Um, the Foxy Tone Box sounds great. Um, I have not had any problems with it. So it might be overdriving. Thought I was overdriving a little bit. Anyways, uh, I love the way it sounds. It's, it's a good sounding unit and you really can't, you can't go wrong with it. Um, if you want a good fuzz that is just a fuzz like it does octave stuff but it does the fuzz thing really well um i highly recommend it and um you should get one if you don't have one and you want something like that or you want a different type of fuzz in your sound like you have a fuzz you have like the fuzz face or or there's a swollen pickle there's so many different ones out there um if you already have a fuzz but you want something that's just a little different try this guy because you throw that octave on and it just it does it does something different than the other ones don't do. Um, but that's kind of my recommendation on it. It's This is a little shorter video, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's longer. Um, but that's kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, if you like our videos, hit the like and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the bell to get more uh, notifications on when we do post stuff. We try to post stuff once a week, long form, and then we try to do as many shorts as we can in a week. Depends on how busy we get. Um, but that's that in a nutshell. 
you know, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Go make some music.